welcome to Hope Worth Having YouTube channel. And we want to take an opportunity this session to answer some questions. The question we want to first deal with is, what does the Bible say about divorce and remarriage? A lot of people have different perspectives about this topic, but I want us to uh, turn to the Word of God and try to answer this question. First of all, when Jesus was asked this question in Matthew chapter 19 about what does the Bible say in relation to divorce and remarriage, he first taught the disciples and those who were asking the question about God's original intent and plan for marriage, and that is Adam and Eve, one man, one woman, to be married together forever. This is what God's original plan is. And the Bible tells us that Jesus said that divorce uh, was something that God hates. It's something that God is not for. But there is only one exception that he gave for divorce, and that was for adultery. So then later, Paul would come along in 1 Corinthians 7, and he would teach us that one could be released from their bonds and marriage through uh, abandonment. So I always remind people that the Bible teaches us that divorce is something God hates. It's not something God wants in your life. Unfortunately, if there is adultery and there can be no reconciliation as a result of that adultery, meaning the person has left you uh, and is unwilling to come back, uh, then there is also abandonment. That person has abandoned the family, abandoned the spouse. Then I believe God releases you based upon those two verses. In no way am I condoning uh, or saying that divorce is proper and right. I'm just explaining to you that God in his original plan wants a man and a woman to be married together forever until death do us part. And then uh, he does make some exceptions in his word, Matthew chapter 19, in addition to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, that uh, there are those two ex exceptions for adultery and abandonment. Thank you.